Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Terraria. We're just having a little house party in here to celebrate me defeating the Eye of Cthulhu. Um, and actually, we got a new house guest here. This minx right here, I actually accidentally set my spawn point, but I set it, set it at the bed that I already had. Uh, she is the Dryad, so from her, we can buy certain things. We can buy acorns, which is not really necessary considering the stock that I have right now. Grass seeds, which would have been useful when I was making this uh, tree farm up here. Sunflowers, which stop the corruption from spreading. Uh, a dirt rod, I'm not really sure what that does, magically moves dirt. I'm not sure what function that has, but I'm sure there's something. And purification powder, and if you remember uh, the video where I went into the corruption and accidentally spawned the Eye of Cthulhu for the first time, um, I was unable to break blocks inside of the corruption, which was a problem for me. So purification powder actually allows us to break those blocks. We just put it on there and then it turns into regular stone or regular dirt. And then we can, uh, we can mine it. So, on this video I'm gonna go down to the corruption. So I'm gonna pick up some of this stuff. Uh, I'm not sure how many purification batteries I need. You know what, let's just take, uh, 30. Because, of course, when I go to the corruption, I want to break shadow orbs, because one of the most common complaints that I recently faced was that when I blew up that shadow orb in that exact same video, uh, I unfortunately did not pick up any of the loot. But I did break a shadow orb since then, and I picked up this vile thorn, which uses mana. So before we go, uh, let's, let's start crafting some mana. You need 20 fallen stars, or sorry, 10 fallen stars, to make mana, or to make stars that you can use to... Uh, become mana in your side inventory? Something like that, anyway. Yeah, well, here we go. I'll make two mana crystals. Pop those into this slot. I should probably clear out my inventory a little bit before I go, too. So let's, uh, use that. And that. I have two mana now. Now, unfortunately, I don't think that's enough to use the Vile Thorn, because it requires five mana. But uh, let's... Oh! Wait, it did something there. Maybe, th maybe that's nothing, but, uh, it sure felt like something. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can use it. Alright, cool. Alright, now that I've wasted all my mana, and it, I don't think it recharges, uh, hmm. Well, you know, it's good to have anyway, in any case. Do, do I have enough to make a, a mana potion here? Nope. Alright. Well, in any case, let me just even out my inventory here. Oh, it does regenerate a little bit. That's cool. Uh, so I'll put my fallen star back. The other thing, the only other thing really, is that I crafted some demonite bars. So, uh, I can use that to create some stuff right now, but I don't really want to create anything with it right now. I want to save it and maybe get some demonite armor. I'm going to farm the Eye of Cthulhu a few times off camera, because I, I don't really think you guys need to see that again. And I guess the last thing I should accomplish before I go is talking to the demolitionist and buying some dynamite, because I'm fresh out. And if I'm going to break the shadow orb, might as well. How much is this? 50 silver? Hmm. You know what? I think I want two sticks of this, just in case something goes wrong. So let me go to my piggy bank. I guess you, did, you guys did miss a little bit off camera. Give myself one coin, one gold coin, which is equivalent to a hundred silver. Put the rest back in the piggy bank. Yes, I did. Okay. Talk to the demolitionist. Pick up another piece of dynamite. All right. And then let's go back to the corruption. I'm uh, high on health right now. Decent armor, just defeated the Eye of Cthulhu, nothing can slow me down. Except, of course, for this, uh, you know, 45 second run. But at least I have these awesome boots that keep me going. Unfortunately, I can never, I've made this run many times, but I can't quite figure out the cadence to make sure that I never slow down. In fact, I don't think it's possible for me to never slow down on this trek, but, you know, you can get going pretty fast. Well, some people probably could. I can't, necessarily. Just cross the Gobi Desert here. What's up? What's going on in that uh that part right there? Look like there might have been some silver. Of course, here's the platform I built, which means the corruption's coming pretty close. We're just gonna walk on water like Jesus Christ. Happy Rapture, everybody! And here we go. All right, we're back in. My favorite place in the entire world. Actually, these Eaters of Souls don't really scare me at all anymore because uh, really, uh, pretty easy to kill. Especially, I should probably be using my bow and arrow on them as I waste all of my arrows. Actually, maybe I should be saving it, considering I, I want to kill the Eye of Cthulhu. And I'm just firing these arrows into an abyss that I will never come back to. Do you know, the other thing I should do is I should equip... Hey, get out of here! I was talking to the audience, Eater of Souls. Not you. Especially these arrows. They're a shame to waste, because they... Uh, I'll never get those back. I should equip my grappling hook. 
Because that's going to make the descent here a lot easier. So let's cut this guy open. And the other thing I should, I should equip my enchanted boomerang, but I'm far too lazy to do that. So instead, we'll just cut this guy down. And I don't think I've explored this cave. So let's give it a try. Oh, I forgot I don't have my miner's helmet. So let's equip some torches. I won't necessarily use that vial thorn right away. Where did I put my mining helmet anyway? I almost can't even remember at this point. Keep going down, down. Do I have it in my inventory? Mm, no. Okay. So I'm gonna have to keep switching. Oh, no, you know what? Let me throw a torch downstairs. Alright, that's pretty deep, but it gave me something. Keep going. Oh, oh! What's going on? I can't see. Worst combat ever. Oh my god. Ah, uh, Dino. I'm being over dramatic. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna live through this. Alright. Barely even lost any health. Hmm. Oh! Okay, I'm alive. And I landed in a good spot, actually. This is exactly where I want to be. I should really... Uh, if, I, if I've lost that mining helmet, I should invest in another one. Let's put it that way. Alright, so let's get down here. Find the, the path of least resistance when it comes to breaking this block here. Can that Eater of Souls get out? Nah. Alright. And let's use some purification powder. Oh, wow. That worked a lot better than I expected. Probably didn't need almost 50 of those. Let's turn this all to stone. And then I will just play... Oh, you know what? This might be the third shadow orb that I've broken. And if I remember, that's, uh, that's when some stuff can start to go down. But hey! Sweet loot, right? So I'll equip this in my grappling hook spot because I'm... Oh! Hey! Get out of here, man! Again, I was talking to the audience. Wait your turn. All right. uh, equip the... What did I equip? Equip the dynamite because I don't need the grappling hook because I'll probably just magic mirror out of this situation as soon as I get the loot. Toss the dynamite. Come back up here where I'll be safe. Eater of Worlds has awoken. I didn't expect that. So uh, I'll teleport back to my base and resume shitting my pants because I'm pretty sure that thing will follow me. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Well first, let's see what I got. I got an orb of light. Create some magical orb of light. Alright, well that's not really... Oh, what? Here he comes. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, so come up here. How am I going to defeat this guy? Sword? Dynamite would be good. Actually, you know what? I read online that the Vile Thorn is good. I mean, I don't have a lot of mana, but... Where is he? I, I hear him. Come on. Bring it on, motherfucker. Ah! Oh, well. Okay, so it's like the human centipede. Wow, that thing is enormous. And it's eating my house? It was... <laughs> okay. Here we go. I'm gonna get, take out the Vile Thorn. Man, the other thing is huge. Okay. I, I could use dynamite as well. It'll totally wreck my exploding platform. Or regular platform. You know what? Let's take a, a crack with dynamite. How am I gonna do this? Where is he? I knew he'd be scared. Oh, I, I meant I'd be scared. The dynamite fell through the platform. Oh, no, my beautiful house. Okay. That didn't work out as well as I expected. Where you at? Where you at, buddy? Seems like all of these videos have ended in surprising degrees of disaster. Come on. You gotta go all the way back down to the earth to fight. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna be waiting here for a hundred years. Maybe? God willing? Oh, there he is. Alright, well, that <laughs> did something, I guess. Uh, better than nothing? Maybe, maybe not. I want to go back inside my house to buy some dynamite, but I'm not sure that's going to go over. Given that there's this enormous worm that can burrow through solid ground coming after me. Oh, I guess I'll just stick it out. I mean, I do seem to be doing uh, some damage to him. I think you only have to kill one segment of his body. I mean, the Vile Thorn was working pretty well because... It hit multiple uh, positions, but uh, I guess I'll just start chucking bombs, so I might as well get over here on this exploding platform. I don't think the sword's going to work too well. Maybe those arrows that hit multiple parts of him. Hmm? Where you at? He's just hanging out downstairs. Man, I got Sangria up here. Come on. 
Oh, 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 big mistake. Big mistake on my part. Yeah, there you go. 20 damage to your entire structure. Eat that. I've really got to start learning, like, how this game works before I go into it. Oh, the thing's getting smaller and smaller. Uh, my my uh, leeway there is getting smaller and smaller. So far, though, I don't think this is going that badly. I mean, he doesn't seem that hard. I'm not sure. He does have, like, I don't know, maybe a thousand segments to him. And he's beatboxing downstairs, doing some, or breakdancing, I should say. Um, but he doesn't seem that bad so far. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to beat him. I mean, again, I'm basing that entirely on hunches. Just he's coming straight up again. Oh, he's taking a second pass. I've almost got enough to start using my Vile Thorn again. Well, let this be a lesson for you. Um, no boss is too big to summon accidentally and have a chance to take down. But yeah, yeah. See, I, I can see uh, parts of his body are getting kind of low right now. So I'm encouraged. Let's put it that way. And let's get over here on this section. Start chucking some bombs at him. Whoa, he's quick. And of course, I forgot that chucking bombs would also destroy my ground. Alright. Let me at him, let me at him. I can't tell if I'm doing well. I mean, I haven't had to heal too much. If at all, maybe a couple times. He's just really slow to fight. I mean, I don't really feel like my life is in danger on this platform. I just kind of feel a little bit... I don't want to say bored because I'm still, you know, embroiled in this hot action here. Still, come on, man. Give me something. Thank God I got this Vile Thorn. I will say, if I didn't have this Vile Thorn, things would probably be going a lot worse for me right now. But I, I could use some more mana. Oh, I, hey. Is he dead? He's not dead? I destroyed him. I ended its life. I didn't end its life. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna have to keep hammering it. This is a really great weapon. I need to switch to, to primarily magic use, I think. Alright, that didn't work so well. Arrows? My sword? I don't know. That obviously... Shooting them directly into the ground didn't work too well. Oh, this this is a situation you don't want to be in. Let's, let's heal up large there. This, this vile thorn is fucking sick. Oh, yeah, that's that's the problem situation right there. Getting a getting him on a horizontal. But yo, yeah, this word of the wise. If you uh, you want to fight the eater of worlds, pick up a vile thorn. That that shit will uh, it'll work for you. I think. I mean, yeah, shouldn't count my chickens yet. Let's put it this way: it works a lot better than a sword does. I, to, I thought I could get by by only killing one part of him, but I guess I gotta kill maybe the head? Maybe every single part of him? That would be bad for me. Oh, not as bad as that would be, though. Just keep firing single arrows into him. Yeah, that's gonna work. They are on holy arrows, though. Oh, yep. Same. Oh, there's another, uh, another one that went down on him. I, I really should have stayed up on my platform where things were safe. Because now I've entered into uh, a pretty terrible situation. I'm just going to have to eat it and actually go up here. Success. Success. Good. Oh, oh there's two of them now. Alright. Cool. I mean, I guess that's what I get for, for saying I wasn't scared of them. Why not, right? Oh, okay. Oh, they break into, like, eaters of... Uh, Tiny Eaters of Souls as time goes on, or as you defeat them. That's interesting. That's kind of a cool boss mechanic. He's on his way out. Not even frightened anymore. This 10 minute boss fight is almost over. I swear to god, if this guy leaves uh, as soon as the sun comes up, I'm gonna be pissed. Where you at? Where you at? Yeah, uh, more ya. Alright. Dropping a shit ton of coins for me too, this is awesome. Let me at him, let me at him. I can hear you. Where, where, where are you? I don't want to come down. He's lured, lured me into a false sense of security here. It is dark as shit. I apologize if you guys can't see very much. Oh, well, there's that's still a large worm right there. 
I was maybe counting my chickens before they hatched. Stay over here by this torch so we can see something. Hello? Any day now, buddy. I mean, I'd be scared too, but come on. Oh, I, I hear you. It's like the the soundtrack from Halloween. I hear like, ch -ch -pop -pop -pop. hello. I'm I'm illuminating myself so you can see me more easily. If you want me, come and claim me. Oh yeah, I'm doing some serious damage now. I saw that the head only had like 41 when he went by. I'm sure now that the video has been uploaded to YouTube for you can for you to see, you can just look look at it for yourself and figure it out. I don't know, man. Do I have to kill the head? Do I have to kill the body? I'm a little bit confused, as usual. I should, probably should stop killing the body because it just makes a second one. But yeah, if you take nothing else from this video, Vilethorn is fucking sick. You're not gonna come over here, take some damage, but plant some torches. Yeah, whatever. Plant some torches here. That way we can actually see the fight. And that should be a testament to how non-difficult I'm finding it right now. Come on. Any day now. I mean, I'm doing this with two mana stars. Could not have been less prepared. I just wanted to grab some sweet loot. Some sweet loot? Some sweet loot. I wonder what that uh, orb of light does. It creates a magical orb of light. Maybe that'll light my house. Maybe I can sell it. Okay, now I'm getting seriously... I'm getting a little cheesed off, Eater of Worlds. Where you at? Do you run away? I mean, not that I... Oh! Oh, there he is. It's like King of Ka right now. With that sweet loop he just went on. And now loop has become the word of the day. Keep running back and forth. Maybe I should get closer to the ground. He seems to, seems to be more of a Terranian fighter. I didn't mean like he fights near terrain. I mean, he's actually from the capital of Iran. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Still feel like I'm doing pretty good here. Sun's coming up soon, so if he vanishes, I'm going to be pretty pissed off. And this will probably be like the most fruitless video of all time. That was a bad time to run out of mana. If I had a nickel for every time I said that in my life, right? Am I right, guys? <sighs> Come on, man. I'm so lonely up here. You want to go grab a beer? Maybe eat some worlds together? I'm really proud of that joke, even though I didn't laugh and I expect no one else to. <sighs> man, this guy's kind of flaky. Yeah, finally. The ability to damage multiple parts is really key in this fight. I can't imagine going into this with just a sword, which is exactly what would have happened. And you guys should be thanking your lucky stars I grew out of that phase. I actually wasn't even going to try to use the Vile Thor in this video. Just got lucky. Where's he at? I'm, like, really killing these Eaters of Souls here. Oh, this is a bad place. Alright, I got enough... Wow. Okay. Things are going bad. Gotta concentrate. He's mad because I offended him. I can understand that. Everybody hurts sometimes, man. Doing some serious damage. Wish really I get back onto my platform here. Oh yeah, this is a money shot. Uh, oh. Thank God I still had some potions left over from the IF Cthulhu. Because otherwise, this would have been a this would have been fool's mate. I would have been in a rough situation. Come on, come on, get back up there. Oh uh, yeah, this is ideal again. <laughs> oh man, that thing went on. Took a U-turn pretty quick. Let's take out my bow again. I should really get some more fallen stars. And the bright side, when the sun comes up, I can go back to using this platform over here, which will allow me to shoot arrows through it, maybe? Oh, that was good. Still trucking along. Making that mad bank, killing giant uh, Tremors worms. You know how it is. So what kind of arrow situation I got going on here? No, oh, I've still got a lot left. No complaints. And let's add one more to that, Sally. Do some sick jumping here. Why not? 
Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was good. Dropping buttloads of rotten chunks for me. I could use those. Some of my worst nightmare. Yes, I can shoot through the platform. Excellent. Headshot. Not a headshot. I feel like this boss fight is nearing its conclusion after 18 minutes or so. I need to go like actively hunt him now. I, I accidentally queued my uh, queued my um, vile thorn there. That would have been a disaster. If I accidentally threw that to the ground. Oh man. Give me the sweet coins. What do I got here? Oh, not that much actually, but hey, it's something. Eater, Eater of Worlds has been defeated! Excellent. What kind of loot? Did you drop it down here? Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Um, I'm not really sure I got anything. Some more Demonite Ore. Shadow Scales, okay. Well, I'll figure out what those do. Shadow Greaves, equipable 6 defense. Well, I guess I won't be needing the Silver Greaves anymore. Check out how these sweet pants look on me. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Cool as ice, baby. Well, alright, so I defeated those two bosses now. Feeling pretty good about my uh, my skills when it comes to Terraria now. That's what you guys get for badmouthing me. In any case, uh, I guess I'm going to end this video right here. This is actually another one that was surprisingly productive. Thank you guys for watching Let's Play Terraria, and I'll see you next time when I'll inevitably set out to do something mundane and probably end up slaying the Lord himself. Anyway, see you later.